Hello there. We're out on safari today helping poorly animals. Shall we see which animals need our help? Ah! I see that we have Jamila the meerkat and Bobo the hippo all waiting to see us. Come on, Robbo. Let's go and see what's the matter with them. Meerkats are very good at digging. They use their sharp claws to dig tunnels and hidey holes underground so they can stay cool and stay safe. They are also good at keeping an eye out for danger. Hello Jamila, how can we help you today? Aww. Oh dear, you seem to have trouble moving your head. Does your neck hurt? <laughs> Have you been on lookout for too long? Just as I thought. Let's check you over. Can you move your head from side to side? And up and down? Well, I'm afraid someone else is going to have to be on lookout duty for a bit while your neck gets better. You've been doing the same thing over and over again for too long and your neck muscles are all achy. Robbo, I think we're going to need a neck collar. A neck collar will help keep your neck still. No more twisting until it is better. There you go. That should feel better. All right, Robbo. It's off to the watering hole for our last patient of the day. Bobo the hippo. Hippos love to spend time in the water and they can hold their breath for up to five minutes. Hippos are also pretty enormous the only other animal on land bigger than a hippo is an elephant. Hi there, Bobo. What can we do for you? Your skin looks a little dry and you seem to be scratching an awful lot. Don't worry, Bobo. Skin can often get dry in the heat and the sun. We can fix this easily. You just need a bit of pampering. Dry skin can be treated with a little moisturising cream. It helps the skin go soft again. That's true, Robbo, but we can use something even more fun to moisturise Bobo right outside the watering hole. Hippos love a mud bath. <laughs> <laughs> What a great end to a fantastic day helping Jamila and Bobo. See you next time for more adventures in our pet rescue jeep. Ding Tao the lion, but he isn't here. Goodness! There you are! We'd better take a look at you. Lions are sometimes called the king of the jungle although they actually live on the grasslands. They like to hunt at night and have such a loud roar that it can be heard for miles around. Oh dear, Tao. Can you roar at all at the moment? Does your throat hurt? Maybe you have toothache. Um, I'd better take a look. Inside your mouth. Open wide. Oh dear, 
dear Tao. You haven't been looking after your teeth at all, have you? I'm not surprised you have toothache. Oh dear Tao, I think we have to take the rotten tooth out of your mouth before it gets any worse. Don't worry, I'll give you an injection so that it doesn't hurt. to make sure you don't have toothache again. Robbo, can we give Tao's teeth a good clean, please? Brushing your teeth is super important. It helps to keep them strong and healthy. What do we do with our teeth each day? We chomp and we chew and we eat our way through lots of lovely food, but our teeth should stay. Crocodiles have been around since the dinosaur times and they are very good hunters and swimmers. They also have excellent night vision, which means they can see in the dark. Now Dahlia, I hope you're going to behave yourself. No biting please. What seems to be the problem today? Oh dear, you have a splinter. That should be quite easy to fix. I'm surprised a friend didn't pull it out for you. <sighs> Lots of other animals are scared of crocodiles. They are very strong predators with powerful jaws and sharp teeth. Maybe they didn't realise you needed help. Ah, uh, yes. I see why you came to us, Dahlia. Don't worry, we'll remove your splinter. Robbo, the tweezers, please. Tweezers are used to grab hold of something small, like a splinter, so that you can pull it out easily. Now, hold still for me, please, Dahlia. You're being very brave. There you go, as good as new. Helping animals is what we're here for. Come on, Dr Poppy. I think we best be off to our next patient. Issa is a spotted hyena. Hyenas like to hunt in groups, and their teeth and jaws are so strong and powerful that they can bite straight through bone. Whoa there, Issa! It looks to me like you have a bad case of the hiccups. What brought this on? <laughs> <laughs> that really was quite funny. You must have laughed so much it gave you hiccups. And now you've got the giggles too. If Issa could 
can stop laughing, then I'm sure that the hiccups will stop too. Having hiccups can be a bit annoying, but they go away on their own after a little while. That's right. Try and take a deep breath, Issa. Oh dear, that didn't work. Boo! Ah! Sorry, Issa. Sometimes a shock helps to get rid of hiccups. Well done, Robbo. I think that has done the trick. Do you feel better now, Issa? Now, let's head off to help Lulu, the ox pecker. Here we are! Lulu is an ox pecker bird. These birds are also known as tick birds because they like to eat the tiny insects that live on the backs of other animals. Lulu, you seem to have damaged your wing. Does it hurt? You poor thing. At least you can still move it, so we know it's not broken. But I think it is sprained, so you will need to rest it so it can get better. Robbo, do we have a sling? A sling is a folded piece of material that is used to hold an arm or wing still. The arm rests inside the sling so that it can heal properly. Is that more comfortable, Lulu? Good. Remember to rest as much as you can. Now, it's time for our last patient, Shaka the Rhino. Look, here he comes. Rhinos are enormous. They are covered in thick skin as tough as a suit of armour. And even though they only eat plants, they can grow to the size of a large car. Hello, Shaka. What seems to be the problem? Goodness! Something is making you very itchy, isn't it? Let's have a look and see. Robbo, magnifying glass, please. I'm afraid you have little insects called ticks on your skin, Shaka. They are on your back and behind your ears. Mm. I know you can't reach back there to get the tick, Shaka, but don't worry. I think I know someone who can help. Oh, Lulu! Could you come here, please? Shaka, meet Lulu. She needs to rest while her wing gets better. Lulu, meet Shaka. He could really use your help with a tick problem. I think those two are going to be great friends. When you're the best of friends, you don't need to be the same. In fact, it helps to blend all your differences together. Together you can reach higher or lower. Together you can move faster or slower. Togetherness makes you stronger. Chimpanzees live in tropical forests and are excellent climbers. They are very clever. They can use rocks to crack open nuts and can even make umbrellas out of leaves. They also love to play and have fun. Goodness me, Kwame! 
Are you sleepy? <laughs> Are you sure? You're a bit wobbly. Watch out! <laughs> you seem a little clumsy too. Did you get a good night's sleep last night? There, there, Kwame. I think you're overtired. Sometimes, when we're tired, we can be grumpy or get upset very easily. Robbo, can we have a tissue for Kwame, please? If you've been playing all day and running round, then people say it's time for a rest. If you've been having some fun and laughing all the time in the sun, now here's what I suggest. There's a time to come away when your eyes are feeling heavy and your body's trying to say. Here's a message that's for everyone Sleep tight For a great tomorrow Sleep tight Be kind to yourself Good night You can dream of adventures You'll feel bright and ready for another day enough sleep each night so you can play the next day. I think you need to go to bed a little earlier tonight. Don't you, Kwame? Sleep tight, Kwame. What a great end to a fantastic day. Join me and Robbo next time as we help more animals on safari. See you again soon. Bye. Bye.